Kyle joins me now for our first look at sports. We're talking about hockey. The Bobcats had a big layoff between games, but they were back at it today. Yeah, almost a full week. They mm -hmm. had five days off between the uh, two games they had, but they were back at it this afternoon, like you were saying, Anna. They were headed west and had a date with the 13th ranked junior team in the entire country, the Sherwood Park Crusaders. And Sherwood Park showed why they are one of the top teams in Canada. It was a 1-1 game after the first 20, but a three-goal second period powered the Crusaders to a 5-2 win. Big bruising Taylor Mulder continues his great season for the Cats. The D-man opened the scoring and now has five goals already this season. Austin McDonald had the other tally for Lloyd Minster. The Cats will look to get back on the winning track Wednesday when they make the trip to Spruce Grove to play the Saints. Well, what else can you say about the Universal Heat other than, wow, the Border City Bunch are rolling through the Alberta Major Bantam Hockey League, seemingly scoring at will. Another win today would make it six straight. We'll pick it up in the third period with the Heat already up 4-2 and looking to add to it. Dalton Payne gets the shot off, but it's right into the catcher of Dylan Jensen. A few minutes later, the Heat again puts some pressure on, but the shot is again right into the catcher. Then Lloyd Minster gets in penalty trouble. Raiders with a lengthy two-man advantage. Brendan Borbley lets it go. And Dylan, per pitch, is there on the doorstep to cash in the rebound. It's a one-goal game. But just 25 seconds later, Heat still shorthanded. Broden Ferentz carries it in, lets the weak one go that somehow beats Jensen 5-hole. And just like that, the Cats or the Heat restore their two-goal lead. Now, dying minutes of the game, the Rocky Mountain net empty. Perpich slides it over to an open K to Nagy, but he can't get a good shot off. That's an easy pad save for Pryor as the Heat celebrate another victory. The 5-3 win means the Heat are now 6-0 on the season. Zane Franklin once again was an offensive force for Lloyd Minster. With two more in this game, he now leads the entire league with 16 goals and 28 points in just six games. The Heat's next game is Saturday in Fort Saskatchewan where they'll try to make it lucky number seven. The Bandits, fresh off an 8-3 win on Friday, were back at it last night looking to pick up their second win in as many nights. And Lloyd Minster is now 3-0 on the Junior B season after a 6-3 win. Six different goal scorers lit the lamp for the Junior B squad with Anthony Rayner leading the way with four points. Michael McKay chipped in three points while Chris Romanchuk had two points. Romanchuk is now tied for second in the entire league with eight points. The Bandits' next game is Friday night in Cold Lake. And in other Junior B action from last night, the Bisons pick up their second win of the season the 3-1 decision over the Tigers. Colby Bowman had the lone goal for Vermillion. Brandon Moyes, Taylor, Shubata, and Colby Schnasher had the Wainwright markers, while Derek Fisterer had two apples in the win. As you've seen all weekend, the Universal Heat continue to dominate the Alberta Major Bantam Hockey League. And this week, they also dominate the Newcap Sports Top 3. Number 3. Bryce Kindop pickles the twine. Number two, Donovan Granham goes for a run. Number one, Jansen Leslie lights the lamp. 